I wanted to take some friends to Japan. I wanted to show them what I've seen there. And I wanted to let them experience in a tangible way the things that have had such an effect on me and on my tattooing. We need some help on the vocals, though. Okay. One, two, three, four. I don't mind you coming here. Wasting all my time. Cause when you're standing oh so near, I kind of lose my mind. Yeah. It's not the perfume that you wear. It's not the ribbons in your hair. And somehow feeling that state of calm exist throughout. Feeling that place of inner peace that comes from walking through a garden or standing in a shrine, um, seeing the statues and the way that they carve all of the beams and the pillars and just the kind of the inner peace that that creates within you and finding that while you're in the midst of crazy Tokyo with thousands of people and lights and blinking and signs and noises. Yet it is impeccably clean and orderly. And somehow feeling that state of calm. The people show constant respect to their environment. Throughout and that. others around them in a way that I've never seen before in other places. The history drew me in and just made me want to learn about and be a part of their culture. And it was mesmerizing. I feel everything we saw has really become a part of me. The trip also increased our friendship in this great team of people. From deep kind of from kind of like the, the put a pool or some some pool. So so like the the people that made my Sinjafuda uh, were these group of dudes that would come and tag temples. So like the ones up here, uh -huh. they have this crazy extender pole uh -huh. that's like that's like really long, but it collapses down here. And what they'll yeah. do is they'll paint the glue on the back and they'll pick it up and they'll almost like like cast it into it oh. and then they flip it around and it has a roller and they'll like that and it flattens it back out so that's how a lot of those dude will do oh. yeah so it's like it's almost like a tagging crew oh. but like the Sinjapuda represents like I don't know which all these are but certain seeing represent, things like, with new group. people through a whole new perspective and being able to share what I know and also learn something new was humbling the takeaway from this trip will be forever to keep studying working hard, and persevere. What do you think about today? I, I don't have words to describe today. Um, no words to describe today because it was terrible or great. Uh, you really don't have any words. I really don't have any words, but the vibe, the vibe's a bad word. The presence of everything was overwhelming. It stirred, 
I don't know, everything's so stirred up that I don't have words. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Two-hundred-year-old Japanese lantern and a Sakura wall scroll, and um, I got these. Nice. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. This trip to Japan taught me about respect. There were many things that struck me about the Japanese. Tokyo is a massive city with an enormous amount of people. I wanted people to notice some of the things that I've noticed. I wanted people to um, go home and and look at things around them, look at their world, the place they live, the people they work with, the things they have. I wanted to, them to see those things differently. I wanted them to have a different appreciation for what they've been given or what they've worked for or what they have or own. What is your thing with those? I just love them, man. What do you, even though you know what they are now? I, I, I the love them less knowing what they are, but the fact that there could be an emergency situation in Japan and that this would help somehow brings me joy. <laughs> 